Hey guys, I'm Sarah Fonger and I make tutorials on filmmaking and the creative process. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add these really cool line drawings and animations to your videos using Adobe After Effects. So open After Effects and then drag your video file into the project window. Then we are going to drag our video file down to this icon to create a new composition from our footage. So now you can see we have our footage down here in a composition. Then we are going to double click on our video clip. This is going to open our layer in a new window so that we can edit and adjust it. Then we're going to go up here and select our brush tool. Now before we start painting on our video, we want to adjust some of the settings. So we're going to go over here and make sure that we set our duration to single frame. This means that when we paint on a frame, it will only last for the frame that we've painted on and will not exist anywhere else in our video. If this is set to constant, it means that when we draw on our video, we will be able to see it through our whole video. You can also change this setting to custom so that you can set it to two or three frames depending on the style that you're looking for. Then we want to go over to brushes and change our brush size to something that we're comfortable with. I usually go with something between 10 and 20 pixels. So once we've adjusted these settings, we can start painting on our video frame by frame. The easiest way for us to move frame by frame through our footage is to use command left or right arrow on Mac or on Windows control left or right arrow. The right arrow will move you forward and the left arrow will move you backwards. So basically now we're going to go through our video frame by frame, drawing a new frame of animation on each frame of our video. So when it plays back, it's going to look something like this. Some things that can look cool are drawing around your subject. Using lines to accentuate movement that's already happening in your video. Creating a new object that interacts with your subject or scene. Adding random scribbles or blocks of color. Adding on to your subject's face or body. You could also even draw completely over a part of your subject. And using lines to create movement that didn't exist before, such as the use of these lines to show that the subject is yelling. So just play around with this and I will link some examples down below so that you can see how other artists are using this technique. So once we have created our animation and we're happy with it, we are going to make our animation a separate layer from our video clip. Generally, it's a good rule of thumb to have multiple layers for different items in your composition. And I would recommend doing this just to keep everything organized and to make sure that if you wanted to add effects to a certain item, that it's really easy because it's on a separate layer. So close our layer and go back to our composition. Select your video clip and then hit Control D on Windows or Command D on Mac. This is going to duplicate our layer. So now we have two layers of the same clip. Select our top clip, go to Effect Controls, and click Paint on Transparent. This is going to make our drawings the only thing visible on this layer. So if we turn off our bottom layer, we can see that the top layer is just our drawing. So let's turn that bottom layer back on and select it. Go into Effect Controls and completely delete our paint. So now we have two separate layers, one layer on top that is just our drawing, and one layer on the bottom that is just our video. Another way to do this is before you start drawing. So right off the bat, you're going to duplicate your layers and only draw on your top clip. Then you're going to select Paint on Transparent after you are finished. One thing to note is after you select Paint on Transparent, you are no longer going to be able to see your video clip underneath while you're drawing. But you can toggle this setting on and off as you need it. So you may have turned it off, but you can go back in, turn it back on so that you can see the video underneath, continue drawing, and then turn it off again once you're finished. Having multiple layers is generally just a really good idea and I would recommend doing this. There are multiple effects that you can add to your line drawings to make them look more interesting and I may make a separate video on this on the future, so comment if that's something that you're interested in. And before I go, I just wanted to touch on one last thing and that is drawing tablets. I don't know if you've ever tried to draw on a computer with a mouse before, but it's very difficult. And I would recommend picking up a cheap drawing tablet to make this easier on yourself. And I will link the one that I use in the description because it's under $100. 
And that's all from me. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see future videos, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. You should know I'm not like others